decided to get your concealed carry permit and you're trying to decide on what holster to go with. You have your pocket holsters, you have your inside the waistband holsters. Outside the waistband holster. And of course, you know, if you wear a coat long enough, you can go with your traditional holster and maybe something for extra ammo. But there's one other option. And that's what we're going to take a look at today. The Glotti International Concealment Rig or Shoulder Holster. Now I know what you're thinking. Some of you are going to say, shoulder holster, that's so 80s. Not true. A lot of people use concealment rigs or shoulder holsters just to make it easy. You know, you have your law enforcement, private security. It's even rumored that our president has con carried concealed using a shoulder holster. And actually, they date back a long time. I mean, they go back quite a ways. But we're not going to get into a history lesson on the shoulder holster today. But what we're going to do is take a look at it. I'm going to show you a couple of different models and some tips and tricks and then a few closing comments. So let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at it. Now this is the model for the three to four inch um, automatic vertical rig. So this is the one I've been wearing the most. So the others you'll see aren't quite fully set up yet. So anyway, now it is made from heavy duty nylon, double stitched in the very important areas, universal mag speed loader carrier, and I'll show you this in a minute. The holster itself is also heavy duty nylon, the PVC nylon, so very durable. Um, your thumb brake strap, which is adjustable, you have Velcro adjustments. Okay, nylon belt loop on this side, elastic belt loop on this side, so you can, it applies tension. It has quick detach buckles, so you can remove them fast if you would have to for some odd reason. The shoulder, the straps themselves have uh, a very long length of adjustment, as well as the shoulder strap. This goes across the back. Now your shoulder pads are also on the outside, the heavy duty PVC nylon. On the inside, it's a very soft, like nylon padding. So it's very comfortable to wear. Again, heavy duty stitched. Now, one of the nice things about this, one, the mag pouch is universal. It'll fit uh, extended mags, shorter mags. It will also fit speed loaders, and I will show you that in a minute. Now, the way they've designed this, it is also ambidextrous. So if you buy one rig and it's set up right-handed, all you have to do is unhook the holster and the mag pouch and swap them out. So this would go over here, turn it this way. The thumb brake can be put either which way. As you see, there's another buckle on here for left-handed carry. So again, fully ambidextrous. Very durable, very strong. So this particular rig, I can honestly say, I've been working with for the last, oh, say, two, three months. Uh, I've worn it around the house, I've worn it out, even just wearing it out, like when I go to the shooting range, instead of having my hip holster, just wear this. I've had it out as far as like being in 80 degree sunlight and believe it or not these pads where you think they would get awfully hot with the padding in here it is breathable. 
You know, I spent several hours out on the range, out in the sun. When I went to take, got home and went to take it off, there was no wet spots on my shoulder. I mean, it's it doesn't suffocate you. Again, it is fully adjustable. So, for any manner of pistol. Now, as I said, this is for the automatic, the three to four inch barrel. This also comes in a four to five inch, as well as a five to seven inch for you long sliders out there. So, okay, and as you can see, one of the tips and tricks I wanted to show you is the way I have this set up. I have found my adjustment point, which is most comfortable for me, adjusted the buckles, and I'll show you these on the other holsters. But once I found it, then I went ahead and trimmed off the strap brought it over so in case I ever did want to adjust it you know for different clothing or what have you and then just took some electrical tape and taped over it so it doesn't catch but I still have at least another two inches worth of adjustment I hope you can see that I also did the same thing on this side so just we have one of the little tricks I wanted to show you Okay, let's take a look at another one of the holsters. Okay, let's take a look at the revolver rig. Now, this is the vertical revolver. It does come in three different sizes. One to three inch barrels, four to six inch barrels, and seven to eight inch barrels. So, the one to three will cover your stub nose revolvers. The four to six will actually fit a four and a half to six and a half inch barrel. And then the seven to eight will just at that, seven to eight inch barrels. So now you can see it's pretty much the same design as um, the vertical auto rig. Now this one I haven't uh, quite fully set up yet. I just adjusted it. Um, I've worn it a few times, but also wanted to let you see just how much uh, adjustment room you have on the straps. So now you'll notice the holster itself is set up just a little differently than the autos. It's a little longer. Um, same features. Buckle both sides can be set up left or right handed. I have this set up like this so my belt goes through here then this part of the holster actually rides outside of my belt thumb brake I positioned it to go across the trigger guard and then we have the Colt uh, official police 38 special sorry it's unloaded so and this has a four inch barrel which fits very nicely in there, ample room, easy draw out. Okay, now on the universal um, mag pouch slash speed loader, I want to show you this, where it does fit your double stack magazines, you can very easily insert a speed loader, and you pull it up, that holds your speed loader in. Now, if you carry, want to carry a lot, you can feasibly carry two speed loaders on each side. So that would give you a total of four speed loaders and depending on your round count per speed loader. So I'll demonstrate uh, it a little later in the video, but then again, you know, once you pull one out, of course pulling it out, you'll have to be mindful as to not drop the second one, but it's where gravity comes into play. So, all right, let's take a look at the horizontal rig for your automatics. Okay, now let's take a look at the horizontal rigs for the automatics. Now, this particular one is the three to four inch barrel horizontal rig and you can go on their website and each 
individual holster will, on each description for it, it'll give you a list of different pistols that they'll fit. So you just kind of, if you don't own one of those specific type of pistols, you just kind of got to judge it as to the size. Like for my uh, vertical automatics, it fits the Glock 17 and the Glock 19 and my Taurus 24-7 Pro and my uh, FNP9 are in basically that size category. Okay, the one I, pistol I carry here is the Bursa Thunder. So, it has a three and a half inch barrel and that's measuring from back here. So, and as you can see, you know, again, I haven't fully finished setting this one up. Um, carried it a little bit. Now, it does have, it is ambidextrous, so you can switch it back and forth, just like the other ones. It does have the elastic belt loop on this side. It also has an elastic belt loop on this side. The way these are kind of designed is they ride low on the side. Now, I like mine higher. I, I mean, I like it, my pistol's right up underneath my armpit. It just feels more natural for me. So, one of the tricks that I was telling you about, and I'll show you here in a few minutes, is I went ahead and added a buckle with an additional strap. So, I have this cinched up high enough to where it sits where I want, and then I just added this extra strap to go through the belt works fine. Now on the magazine carrier, now again these are universal, so where you have a single stack mag and you put it in here, I, for the most part it's kind of swimming in here. It does work, I mean if anything you can pull two of them, you can put two of them in there if you carry that many mags. What I did was I took a piece of closed cell foam, cut it out to just a little bit bigger, as you can see by the way it looks, of a double stack magazine. Then I went ahead and cut this out. Magazine fits perfect in there. I'll bring it up so you can see it. Nice and flush with the extension sticking out so that way I can go ahead and put it in here and it keeps enough retention on it so then if I need it just reach in and you can pull the mag out so depending on how you set it up and that can be done with uh, closed cell foam uh, a rather stiff foam use your imagination <laughs> On it, but that's something. Uh, I don't know. I hope my friends at Galati International, when they see that, maybe they'll take a look at uh, possibly adding um, these accessories. So, all right. Now that's uh, the three different models I wanted to show you. So let's get to a couple other things here. Okay. Now one of the other tricks or tips, if you will, that I found is, okay, what your question is, what if I'm not wearing a belt? Okay, now you can buy these online uh, or maybe find them at a clothing store, what have you. I actually took these off a cheap pair of uh, suspenders. So basically, if you're not wearing a belt, basically the same principle as a suspender, like I said, that's what they came off of. So then you would just adjust it accordingly. Clip that to your pants on both sides. And there you go. So if you're not wearing a belt, you can still, you can still utilize the holsters. Again, you know, you can find these uh, at clothing stores uh, online or again, like I did, it was just bought a really cheap pair of suspenders and Took them off so works really good all right let's uh, move on okay before we move to the revolver um, I forgot to add I wanted to show you something now 
the horizontal rig, um, like I said, unfortunately is just for the small automatics. Well, and you can get them for the bigger ones too. Now, if you have a small revolver, just so everybody know, safe. You can still utilize one of these holsters. What you would have to do is, as you can see here, okay, what you'd need to do is split that seam right there to, oh, I want to say back about here, then reinforce it so it doesn't keep going. Now, if you do that, uh, it will void any warranty on the holster. But I just wanted to show that to you if you have a revolver and you wanted to use one of these for the revolver. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the horizontal rig for the smaller automatics. So basically you would brake, draw, fire, then when empty, okay, drop your magazine with the insert, pull out, snap cap just in case anybody's wondering, lock, backfire. So just a little example what you can do with this one. So let's take a look at the revolver. Okay, now for the revolver side, okay, we do have speed loader in here, draw, fire, Grab the speed loader, drop it in, back to firing position. So, just a look at how to, you know, <laughs> use the revolver. This one's actually kind of nice. Makes you feel like Dirty Harry. So, alrighty. Okay, one other thing I wanted to show you before we get to the closing. Now say for some reason you wanted to take it off. So you can either hit the buckles on here, the quick release buckles, or check it out. So you go ahead, you got your mag, you go ahead and take out the pistol. Now this is the nice thing the way this is set up. Click, undo that strap, now over on this one, this side, just pull up on the strap itself. Of course it doesn't want to cooperate with me right now. There we go. Take it off like a coat. There we go. Well there you have it my friends. Look at it. A couple of different models. Just uh, a real quick uh, safety announcement. Okay, the revolvers were unloaded. All the automatics had snap caps and were made safe. Just wanted to get that out there. So anyway, we took a look at the vertical rig for your smaller size. They're also available in I believe three other different sizes as far as the vertical rig. We took a look at the horizontal rig works great for your smaller compacts and then the added little thing to if you want to make a revolver a small revolver fit in it again it most likely will void your warranty so just thought it let that out there and then of course the one for the revolver your longer revolver the verticals so now on the one I'm wearing right now the pistol I'm using is an FNP9 three and a half inch barrel. This does have the VX1 micro laser on it. Um, so if your laser is small enough, it will fit in the holsters. So otherwise, the other one I carry is a Taurus 24/7 Pro 45. Fits just perfect in there. Very comfortable, easy to wear. The way the weight is spread out when you have mags and the pistols, you don't even really notice it. 
you know, once you get used to wearing it, uh, another added little thing helps keep your pants up if you happen to be like me losing your waistline. So, but anyway, um, there, I'll put a link in the end of the video. So, go by and check it out. Uh, go to Galati International, go to Holsters, and then follow the Yellow Brick Road. These really are affordable. Now, as somebody that, uh, well, you might say back in the 80s, actually had a custom holster made for me. Uh, I was carrying a Beretta 92. Was very expensive. Um, they cost me up with the words almost $200. So these are actually very affordable. I'm gonna say, I forgot right off hand, probably in the $40, $50 range. So, you know, give it a try. They do have Galati Internationals, satisfaction guarantee. So if you get one, you don't like it, um, you know, contact them and they'll take care of it. I do recommend though, till you decide whether you like it, don't uh, like cut up the straps and stuff like I showed you. You know, just kind of wear it. I've gotten to the point where I wear it around the house sometimes, you know, just to wear it. I don't know. I like it when I go out to the shooting range. It keeps, you know, stuff off my belt. Um, be great. You know, I know people that have them that actually wear, have them adjusted to where they wear them over their coats or whatever, like when they go hunting, rather than a pistol here or, you know, unless you like tactical. It's one of my favorites is the drop leg holster. But, uh, you know, so it's very much accessible when you need it. So, and they're, they're quite comfortable. So, you might want to just take a look. So, as I like to say, when it's time to gear up, get a lot of gear. So, till next time, my friends, target on.